Hi guys, my name is Darpro, I'm a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Speedrunner. Today we'll be having a look at something that a lot of people have actually asked about. Um, and basically what it is going to be using the pause menu to break the game. Or at least make our life a little bit easier. Um, those of you who've you know, done runs of this game are probably familiar with hover jumps. You know, you do a quick double tap and you get a bunch more height than you're supposed to. You can do that. But... Some people have asked about, well, what are those pause hover jumps I see people doing? And a lot of people call it pause buffering. Uh, this is not really um, a correct term. Pause buffering is actually used in places like Ocarina of Time, where you can use the pause menu to literally buffer an action. You force the game to know that you did it and do it immediately upon coming out of the pause menu. We don't actually do that. We don't make use of the game's buffer at all. There, as far as I know, there is no action buffer here. Really what we do with that is can be better called pause interrupting. And we do that to trick the game into thinking we have faster fingers than we actually have. For example, if I take my index finger and I double tap the A button as quickly as I can. A little bit too quick. Like that. That's as fast as I can go. And you can see it's not working all the time because it, it's just exceeding what my finger can do. That's as fast as I can go with my squishy human finger. But sometimes that's not good enough. And so what what we can do is we can trick the game into thinking that our finger is faster than it actually is. And the way we do that is with the pause interrupt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my middle finger and put it on A of my right hand. And I'm going to put my left in, or my right index finger on the start button. This is a 360 controller so I can now press both buttons independently of each other easy. So what I want to do is I want to press A and then start. And then that will basically have me in a jump animation. And then what I want to do is press start and then jump again. In this case, I'll be doing it fast enough that I do a hover. So if I do this quickly enough, it should only take one or two frames before the pause menu comes up. So let's give this a shot. So as you can see, I've captured Tails just after he comes off the ground. And this is the best time to do a hover jump. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start and A with my two fingers as quickly as I can, one after another, and see if this gives me a good hover jump. Oh, there we go. So you can see the quality of these hover jumps is much better than the ones I could do by hand. I'm, try I'm being really lazy here, uh, trying to spend as little time as possible in the pause menu because it wastes real time. So you want to do the pause buffer as quickly as you can. And I'm just being super aggressive because... Well, that's me. Uh, but really, you can do it just like this. Then you can reposition your hand. And there you go. Really good hover jump. And that's all this is. Pause interrupting is literally interrupting the game so that you have time to take your, th your finger off the A button and get ready to do it again faster than you could normally. You're not actually breaking any rules or changing the way the game works. You're just interrupting the game so that the game thinks that you've only taken one or two frames to take your finger off and put it back on the A button when in reality you've taken, you know, half a second or whatever, whatever real time it takes. It's not pause buffering, it's just pause interrupting the game. Uh, it actually has kind of a neat second purpose that you can use. If, for example, that you want to uh, frame buffer, or not frame buffer, but advance frames in the game, you can do that using pause interrupting kind of as well. It's the same technique. So if I do this normally, let's say I've done this. I'm saying, oh, okay, I don't, I don't like that frame. I want to be a little bit later. What I can do is I can do exactly what I just did. I can press A and then start again quickly, and that'll go forward a couple frames, however long it takes me to hit the start button again. See? I'm using the pause menu to advance frames. That's all it is. Same technique as, pa as doing the pause interrupt, it's just in reverse. I just keep doing A start over and over again. A little bit slower now. So if you want, you can really slow down tricks and do it very slowly. You don't even have to be in a task. You could do that in the normal game as well. For a short amount of time, there was a variant of CE skip where we did that because we thought it gave us a better chance. No one really does it anymore, but it did exist for a while. For about a, a week or two and uh, people did a lot of people can still do it um, it went away but nonetheless the technique still works 
And as more and more difficult task type tricks make their way into the game, I think you'll see this technique uh, get more and more common. But the real benefit here is being able to do really good hover jumps. No problem. Uh, anything that you can do with a pause buffer, you can do in real time as well by just tapping fast enough, but the pause pause interrupting makes your life way easier for the really hard hover jumps that you need to get first try every try. So, give it a shot, play with it, and uh, see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys.